Hey, it's Kay Pizza from Ableton 8 and in this super quick video I'm about to show you how to make a simple trap beat. The only thing you gotta do is press this button in fact. This is a certified hood classic. Just kidding, but it's not too complicated. Look at this. It's got six elements and we'll go through all of them. First of all, uh, every trap beat's got a kick, an AO8 bass, uh, a lead sound, a snare sound, uh, high hat rolls. This is a certified hood classic. All of these samples I've provided in the link below the video, so go ahead and download it before we get started. So first of all, when you download Ableton, it will look somewhat like this. Uh, this is what the folder looks like. So first of all, go ahead, delete all these audio channels by selecting them both, holding shift, clicking on both of these tracks, pressing delete. Select the first MIDI track. Then just drag the A08 bass from the folder in here. When that's done, just set the voices to 1. If you've got Ableton Live 9.5, then you've got to set this to complex mode. Set the tempo of the track to 140. Set the metronome on. Uh, click the arm button. So press the arm button in here, press the record button in here, and let's see, we'll improvise. just set the release higher so that uh, the kick plays for longer. Let's just now select this clip, press shift tab to go into the clip view. Let's just adjust the beginning of the clip. Let's set the grid to 1.8. After selecting all of these notes press command U to adjust them to the grid. And you see if we made a mistake in here, so I'll just put all, both of these notes a semitone higher. Alright, when that's done, click on the first track and duplicate it by pressing Command D. You can delete the other MIDI track. Press Shift Tab to go from the clip view to the device view again. Now let's go to the folder and drag the kick from the folder into this simpler device. Go into the second clip, press shift tab to go into the clip view and adjust all of these notes to C3. That's because we don't want the kick to be transposed. You want the kick to stay to only play the main note, which is C3, which sounds like this. And we don't want to play any other notes like this or like this. So let's hear what it sounds like now. The metronome off. Sounds fine, but we, what we can do now, we can ju just drag this line to give us some more space. And what we can do is we can just type in a compressor Drag the compressor onto the A08 base in here. Sidechain the A08 base to the kick. I'll explain what that means in a minute. So just press this little arrow in here. Press the sidechain button in here. Select the audio input from the kick track and put the threshold down like this. Even more. What happens is that when the kick is playing, it diminishes the volume of the A08 bass so that it gives it the opening pop of the sample. You see, when the kick hits, the A08 bass goes more quiet. That's for the first part. Thank you for watching. And now you are a certified beatmaker. <laughs> Remember to subscribe and see you in the next videos. Bye.
This is a certified hood classic. This is a certified hood classic.